Hello all, special shout out to members of the Wildcat Nation. Today's video talks about how you can log in to MindPlay from home to get your child a little extra practice in reading. This is an outstanding program that is extremely effective at diagnosing and fixing issues that children have with reading. It is especially good at addressing phonemic awareness and phonics, which are critical building blocks to vocabulary and comprehension. It'll also do an excellent job with those two things if that's where your child is having difficulty. In fact, many studies have been done that suggest that just 20 hours with mind play can improve a student's reading comprehension by one whole grade level. I've actually seen students improve three grade levels in about 30 hours. Now, that result is uncommon, but it is possible. So let's get started. So you can go to uh, your favorite browser, we choose Chrome, and you can just type in um, mindplay.com and that will take you to um, the link you need. Or you can have your child log in uh, to their Splendora ISD Gmail account and you can use class link. Your student will know how to do that. Either way works. If you use the class link account, then your student's uh, username and password should already be saved. We're going to do it this way. I'm just going to click on the first link I come to. I'm going to find their login link. Our school district number is 001528. Then I'm going to click on student login. I can click anywhere in the blue in the blue screen. And at this point, I'm going to put in the student's username. Now, your child's username is their student ID number. So in this case, we're going to use your child's password is this same number right here without the zero. And we replace the zero with your students initials in capital letters. So drop the zero and add your students initials in capital letters. At this point, it will launch. You will see a passage with a missing word. Click on the word that best completes the sentence. If you change your mind, click on a different word. Click on the next button to begin. At this point, the computer will launch a brief assessment to determine what your student does and doesn't know. It's very important, the younger the child, that you support them through this process and sit close with them. You'll get full uh, instructions from uh, either a voiceover or actually from a video on the screen. If you want to proceed, you click Next. You can get help or you can quit. In our case, we're going to go ahead and log out. And this will be ready for this student the next time. I highly recommend 15 minutes for kindergartners and first graders, Please enter your login and password. second graders and third graders should be able to handle up to 30 minutes, fourth and fifth graders should attempt to work up to 45 minutes a session before taking a break. Five days a week is optimal but three days a week is acceptable. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email me at dmartin at splendoraisd.org or you can reach out to your child's teacher. Have a great day.